In this video, we'll be looking at an implementation of a portal effect using Unity's scriptable render pipeline. We have set up a scene with two connected portals, where you can look through a portal and see the world through the other one. In this video, we will explain how this effect is implemented. This example scene, the portals, the environment, and the custom scriptable render pipeline assets are all available as a free download at the link in the description below. To create the portal, we have created a portal mesh object, which has three different materials attached. Two of the materials create the glowing ring border, and one displays the image in the center. The border's two materials are created using Shader Graph, with a scrolling noise texture that is modulated by the mesh's vertex colors. One material is applied to the center of the portal. The center of the portal is textured with a render texture from the viewpoint of the other portal. This render texture is generated by a camera that is positioned from the viewpoint of the other portal. We are effectively rendering two camera views, one, the player's camera view, and two, a camera view from the perspective looking through the portal. This second camera view is displayed through the portal hole material of each portal. The shader samples the texture in screen space, revealing that second camera view. If we did not sample in screen space, the texture would have been an incorrect perspective and looked plastered under the portal. By sampling in screen space, we correctly reveal the second camera view on the surface of the portal. We have created a C-sharp script, portal.cs, which hooks into the scriptable render pipeline's render pipeline.begin camera rendering event. This allows our script to do our calculations right before any camera rendering takes place. The begin camera rendering event is fired whenever a Unity camera is rendered. This event is fired for every camera, each game camera in your hierarchy, and even the scene views camera. The update camera function is passed a camera parameter, which will contain the currently rendering camera. We will move the portal's camera so that our viewpoint through the portal will have the correct perspective. To get this correct perspective, we take the currently rendering camera's relative position to the portal and then make the portal's camera match that relative position from the other side of the matching portal. In our function, we first match the portal's camera matrix to the rendering camera's projection matrix so that any perspective settings, such as the camera's field of view setting, will be applied to our portal's camera as well. We then call the inverse transform point method of transform, passing in the rendering camera's position. This allows us to calculate the relative position of the rendering camera to the portal. We then scale the relative position by negative one, one, negative one, inverting the relative position of the X and Z axes so our position is now relative to the back of the portal rather than the front. Finally, we set the portal's camera position to the new flipped relative position of the paired portal. This will effectively make our camera continue rendering from the other portal's perspective giving us the effect of looking through a portal. Because our implementation uses the scriptable render pipeline system, we are able to effectively hook into the rendering process and have the effect work even when viewed through the scene view camera. If you'd like to experiment with these features yourself, we have provided the complete project with all assets, meshes, shaders, and an example scene for you to download via a link in the description below. We look forward to seeing what cool stuff you create with it. Thanks for watching.